Welcome to the Blink Network. In this training, we are going to cover how to add a member to user groups for queue stations. A pricing plan defines how much a driver will pay to charge their vehicle, and it can be configured based on kilowatt hours, time based, and more. Start by logging into the Blink Network to access your dashboard. Click on EBSC Locations from the side menu. Select the location to update. Click on the Usage Rate tab in the top menu. Before setting fees, you are going to select your charger type and rate template. Select Level 2 or DC Fast Charge from the first drop down menu. Rate Template gives the option to create several pricing plans. You may have one pricing plan all year or create different ones to switch throughout the year. Applied Price can be used as the pricing plan year-round. Winter Pricing and Summer Pricing are used by hosts when their utility company changes electricity rates based on the season. A host can have rate templates already created per season to switch their pricing plan back and forth easily. Default Time Template is an example of what Blink uses when we own the station in locations whose rates are based on the duration of a session. Hosts can use this as a sample template and decide if they would like to follow our pricing. Default Energy Template is used the same way, but for locations whose rates are based on kilowatts used during a session. For purposes of this training, we will use the year-round Applied Price Template. Note, every field left blank within the template will default to zero. Next, there are four different sections to complete. Let's start with the Global Fee section. Country and Currency will automatically show what applies to this location. Roaming Fee is currently unavailable on the platform. Soon Blink will allow drivers that have memberships with other EV charging companies to use Blink chargers and vice versa. This is called roaming. Note that for now, this does not affect pricing. The session fee is a service fee to start each charge session. You have the option of setting different fees for each type of user. Guest, a person that does not have a Blink member account. Member, a person that has a Blink member account. Roaming partner, this type of user will be activated when roaming is available. Custom, a person the host added to their custom user group. Employee, a person the host added to their employee user group. You can add people to user groups by visiting the Manage Users area from the side menu. The third section is the usage rate, which is a fee for the energy being used. This can be based on kilowatts per hour used or the time spent charging. The Billing Unit drop-down menu shows kilowatt per hour or time. Every state in the U.S. has a standard way to charge for energy. Make sure to select the right one for you. If you select kilowatt per hour as the billing unit, you only see the grace period next, which is a free promotional incentive if you choose to give one. You can provide the first few minutes of charging for free. For example, you may provide 30 minutes of free charging, and after the 30 minutes, the driver will begin to incur charges. If you select time as the billing unit, then you must also define the billing increment. This is where you set the number of minutes that will pass before the person incurs the usage rate again. User charging rates is the fee to charge users based on their consumption. Just like before, you have the option of setting different fees for each type of user. The last section is the occupancy rate, which is used when drivers have completed a full charge but continue to occupy the charger. Billing increment is how often you would like the driver to incur this occupancy fee once it begins. Occupancy max fee gives you the option to set a maximum cost the driver will incur while occupying the charger after a full charge. Grace period sets the length of time without a penalty the vehicle can occupy the charger after a full charge. This grace period gives the driver time to unplug their vehicle before the occupancy rate begins. Occupancy rate, this is the rate per billing increment. 
you have the option again of setting different fees for each type of user. After making all selections, you must go back to the top right and click Apply Charge Fee to save all changes. If you have any further questions, please contact your account manager. Thank you for choosing Blank.